let's continue exploring the universe within art and the art behind farming. I'm your host, Omelette Du, and in this video, we're going to build a super simple automated chicken farm. Not only does this farm produce food and feathers, but you can also get eggs. So if you want to cover your world or your friend's bases in chickens, or get tons and tons of wither roses so that you can build some sort of crazy wither skeleton farm, you can totally do all of that with this really easy build. Or if you're starving and just looking for some food, you can easily build this on day one. Now I would be amiss if I didn't mention that if you want a permanent supply of food, you should totally build a passive mob farm, or better yet, build a villager trader for golden carrots. And I'll be sure to post links to all of those videos in the description. But for this episode, we're going to look at two different styles of chicken farm so that you can decide which one fits your needs the best. If you want it to automatically cook your chicken, or if you want eggs, or if you want a lossless version that gives you the raw chicken instead, all of that will be totally up to you. And here are the materials that you will need in order to build this farm. All of the stuff in my hotbar is the bare minimum, but you don't actually need glass, you can just use a slab instead. You also don't need the comparator, the lava, the lever, the redstone torch, the lead, or the seeds. All of that will just depend on which version you want to build. So if you don't want to go to the nether to get quartz for a comparator, or you can't find lava, it will all be okay. No matter which version you want to build, they all start off exactly the same. Simply place a chest with a hopper pointed into the back, then diagonally behind the hopper we need a dispenser facing the front. Now we need a slab on top of the hopper, then we want to surround that slab in either solid blocks or glass. Now the block directly above the chest either needs to be a glass block or an upper slab so that we can open the chest. But for everything else it doesn't matter, glass just allows you to see the inside of the farm. But then we need a hopper pointed down into that dispenser, and if you want to use the lava version that will automatically cook your chicken, we're going to place a lava source so that it is floating above that slab. But if you can't find or don't want to use lava, we'll talk about that later on, but basically you just replace the lava with a solid block, but everything else remains the same. And again, the glass is totally optional just so that you can see the chickens inside of the farm. So you can always use solid blocks instead of glass if you so desire. But now we just need to load in some chickens. One way you can do this is simply by collecting some eggs and then throwing those eggs into the top of the chamber until you spawn some chickens. From there, you can just breed the chickens in this chamber to get as many as you desire. And even if you only get one chicken, that chicken will start laying eggs in here, which then you can throw into the machine in order to get more. Or if you don't want to wait on eggs, you can just go catch chickens using seeds or leads. Now one trick to moving mobs around with leads is that if you attach the lead and then pillar up with blocks or scaffolding, that mob will just kind of float around and follow you. However, chickens are more annoying because they fight against you. You know, they, they try to fly, so odds are that they will get stuck on your pillar of blocks and try to fly away from you. You know, but moving around and jumping around will eventually get them unstuck, and now once you have them on the top, you can just simply lead them in. Just crouch and try to get behind them so that you can push them in the hole. Now if you can't detach your lead because there are too many chickens inside or something, you can always just cap the top and then walk away. The lead will break, but then will get picked up by the hopper and end up down in your dispenser for you to collect. Also, this is where eggs will end up if you're waiting on those in order to spawn more chickens. But really, the easiest way is probably just using seeds. Chickens will follow you as long as you are holding seeds, so just build a ramp so that you and the chicken can get up here, then just break out the block, use a trap door, or push them in like we did before. Once you get your chickens loaded, we just need to build the redstone. So first we're going to look at the design that uses a comparator, because this one will be fully automatic. However, just know that if you don't want to go to the nether to get the quartz for the comparator, you actually don't need the comparator at all. And we'll take a look at that right after we build this. So you need a comparator on subtraction mode looking at the dispenser, then two solid blocks with redstone dust in between those blocks, a repeater on this side facing toward the front, and then two pieces of dust. And so now this will automatically load the eggs into the kill chamber as the chickens lay them. Whenever the eggs are dispensed, it will have a chance of hatching a baby chicken, but the baby chicken won't be tall enough to actually be killed by the lava until it grows up into an adult chicken. Now if you want this farm to produce eggs, all you have to do is add a lever and turn it on. And now all of the eggs will build up in the dispenser, rather than the dispenser dispensing all of the eggs. But if you don't want to go to the nether in order to build a comparator, there is a super easy alternative. 
We're going to start off by placing three solid blocks in this pattern right here. Then we need to place a redstone torch on the side of the bottom block, with dust on the opposite side of that block, and then a repeater on top of the middle one, facing back toward the dust. This clock will just activate forever and ever, which might be kind of annoying because the dispenser will make a clicking sound. So we can just add a lever in order to silence it, and to turn this into an egg farm rather than a chicken farm. Now if you're playing on Java, this repeater needs to be set to a max delay, because the Java torches burn out faster than the bedrock ones, so keep that in mind. But whichever one you want to build is totally up to you. Now let's take a look at the alternative design that doesn't use lava. So the upside to using lava is that it will automatically cook the chicken for you. The downside is that as a chicken grows into an adult, it will kill all of the baby chickens that are in the chamber, and baby chickens don't drop anything. So when using lava, you will actually miss out on some items, because the baby chickens won't drop any feathers or meat. So all we have to do is switch the lava with a solid block. And now, it won't automatically cook the chicken, but we won't lose any of the items either. As the chicken grows into an adult, it will then suffocate inside of the solid block, and then drop its items. Everything else remains exactly the same, except that we don't accidentally kill any baby chickens in the process making this design totally lossless, and maybe more humane because we are not actually ever killing baby chickens. No matter how many chickens are ever in the kill chamber, it will only ever kill the adults. The babies will survive. So if you don't mind cooking the chicken yourself, this might be a better alternative because you will never ever lose out on any items. And of course, the rates of this farm are totally controlled by how many chickens you have in the upper chamber. So if you want better rates, go crazy and have more chickens. But I have to say that if you're playing on a server or a realm, please don't go too crazy. Chickens are super duper laggy. You never need more than 10 chickens in this farm if you're playing on multiplayer. Be conscious of lag and don't bog down other players. But if you're playing on single player, go nuts. You can have 200 chickens in this thing if you want to. You know, that is all totally up to you. And if you're on Java, just know that there is a limit to entity cramming. That is, how many chickens can be in a one by one area. So you can always expand the back section out and add more hoppers if you want to have more chickens. But that's all we got for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you did or didn't like about the video, or if you have any questions or requests, and I will do my best to help you out. Or if you don't know what to say, just tell me hi. I would love to hear from you either way. Thank you so much for watching. Just know that you are super important. I can't keep making these videos without your support, so you are totally awesome. And I hope to see you again soon. But until then, I've been your host, Amale Duke, building a chicken farm with you, and reminding you as always, don't forget to have fun. Bye-bye.